What we have here is in the setup position, the scapula is about 20% retracted through its range of motion. Now, as we proceed, we raise and pre-drill. Okay, what's happened? Now, the scapula has retracted to maybe about 50% of its range of motion, right? Now, with a recurve bow, this is very important to understand because what happens as you draw a recurve bow back further and further and further? Well, the poundage increases, doesn't it? So it kind of makes sense that when we talk about muscular output in terms of uh, power threshold, when the muscle is fully extended, if we talk about the bicep, this is the weakest position. And as you contract, actually the, the recruitment of high threshold muscle fibers increases and power output increases. So fully contracted muscle is actually the highest in isometric strength. So what this means is as you're drawing back your bow, the position through the draw sequence where the weight of the bow is lowest is the weakest position. And then as you draw the bow back and it gets heavier, you're actually recruiting high threshold muscle fibers and creating more power output as the scapula retracts. Remember that. Okay, so now we have pre-draw position, 50% retracted. Next, we complete loading and anchor. And in this position, the scapula is more like 80% retracted through its range of motion. This is a very powerful position. It's very important that in the full draw position, the scapula is not fully retracted. It's not 100% retracted to the end of its range of motion. If you do that, it means it has nowhere left to go, right? You have no expansion left. And this is often a problem when people use the term back tension because it's possible just to kind of squeeze the muscle, fully retract, over retract the drawing side scapula and you're feeling the muscle squeezing, but you have nowhere left to go. So it doesn't actually create any power or expansion. So in this position, we have uh, the scapula retracted about 80% through its range of motion. It's quite powerful. And um, also as the, the draw weight is high in this point, we have a lot of power and control of expansion through the clicker. And then what happens is expansion, release, follow through, and the scapula is now 100% retracted. So let's review this through the draw sequence. Setup position, 20%. Raise pre-draw, 50%. Loading anchor, 80%. Release, follow through, 100%. Does that make sense? 